welcome back from my channel for the new cameras nice to meet you this was so mainly share relaxing music and steady music uh, which aim at helping you relax get better sleep and get better concentration we also sometimes share some useful tips and resources for your mental health steady and relaxation so if you're interested make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any single video in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys about 10 self-care ideas to help you reduce stress and feel better. So if so, without any further ado, let's get started. Eat without guilt The first self-care idea that you can do easily is to eat something you want without any guilt. Uh, we can care for ourselves by honoring the needs of our bodies, uh, for example, if we want something a little sweet or to enjoy ourselves with friends or if we are going to eat anything, it doesn't even matter what it is. So we sometimes got to let go of that guilt and we got to allow ourselves uh, just to enjoy what we want and to feel good about it. Drink 8 cups of water. You can easily take care of yourself by drinking 8 cups of water and especially if you feel that you haven't had a lot of water lately then this might be the point that resonates with you the most. Spend time outdoors in nature. Get outside for at least 15 minutes or more. Uh, you know, being outside, especially if we can be around nature, is really good for our mental health. It's such a great way to disconnect, even if it's just a walk around your neighborhood or just wherever you live. Getting outside just to get some fresh air is a beautiful thing that we can do to care for ourselves. Take a slow shower or bath. Uh, this could be any time of the day depending on where we walk and what we do. Sometimes the morning can be hectic and rushed and we just quickly have a shower and try to get dressed quickly and head out the door. But if you're able to slow down your bath a little bit and just take that time for yourself, uh, you'll find that being in the shower is just an excellent time for you to have organized that uninterrupted time and see if you're able to lengthen it just a little bit even by just a few minutes of slowing down and savoring that shower. Take a nap or go to bed early. Getting a nap sleep is essential for good health, but unfortunately we cannot get enough. So taking a nap at the weekend or going to bed early is an excellent form of self-care. So I'm gonna uh, mention a couple more ideas in this video, but before I move on to them, I would like to ask you to write in the comments below about a uh, self-care method you would like to share with the world that helps you reduce stress. Take a digital detox day. We connect using different social media channels and devices in today's world, and it can be overwhelming and exhausting. Thus, we need a break sometime. So you can incorporate a digital detox day where you don't check your phone or laptop within certain hours. If you feel very overwhelmed with your devices, just take a break occasionally. Cattle with loved ones. Taking the time to connect with someone else and uh, cattle with them is one of the easier ways to do self-care. Besides, it's so effective because uh, whenever we cattle with someone, we produce oxytocin which will reduce our stress. Listen to peaceful music. You can do this at any time of the day or the week. For me, I do that every single day after dinner. I play some really peaceful music playlists that I have uploaded on this channel. You can listen to different playlists ranging from relaxing sleep music to motivating music and seasonal festival music on my channel. That way, it will help you wander for the end of the night. Do yoga or meditate. Uh, so do you need to do it for very long periods? No. 10 minutes a day can make you feel very peaceful. So please try to give at least 10 minutes a day to meditate or do yoga and let your thoughts and feelings be silent. Journal writing. Sometimes you might be feeling down and you might not know what to do. That's why journal writing can be beneficial because it's a great way to get uh, our emotions down on paper. Uh, a lot of people think it needs to take hours, but it doesn't. Even if you have 10 or 15 minutes to write down your emotions, it can be very helpful. Uh, I have also uploaded a journaling music playlist with 10 journal prompts on my channel. So make sure to check it when you do journaling. 
Okay, that's it. I hope all the ideas mentioned in this video will be helpful and easy to practice. And let me know if you guys have any other plies, tips, or idea about doing self-care. And also, if you have anything to add to the conversation, as always, leave in the comments below. Lastly, before closing the video, let's recall for one minute about what you have learned from this video and consider how you can apply it in your daily life. Then, good job if so, you have made good use of your time. Again, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.